welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ruth Reviews if you're new to my channel you're welcome yeah, and if you've been with me you're also welcome so guys I started this series last week on uh, self improvement series that is the temperament getting to know the four basic temperaments and the last week I talked about the extrovert side of it that is the choleric and the sanguine and this week I'm going to be talking about the introvert side of it that is the melancholy and the phlegmatic guys if you've not watched that video I will please go and watch it and while at it do subscribe and give a thumbs up and you can ask your questions in the comment below and I will gladly respond to all of them so this week I want to talk about the melancholy and the phlegmatic let's get right into it okay so the melancholy is the um, richest of all the temperament because they have high IQ they are very practical they are very analytical you know they are very self-sacrificing also they are just awesome and wonderful people they stick to you through thick and thin yeah they stay with you whether in your eyes and in your nose okay so let's go what are their kind of career they are lovers of art our theologians and anything that has to do with self-sacrifice anything that has to do with humanitarian duties they go into it like doctors uh yeah uh, educators, philosophers, theologians, inventors, because they are very, very profession. Profession is like they have this very IQ and they are very, very, ah, uh, very brilliant, very, very intelligent. So they go for that kind of thing. So what are your strengths? They are very sensitive, very, very sensitive. Sensitive in a good nature. They are very, very sensitive in the sense that they can sense what is going on with you. you know, at the first call, like. I can relate my special father to this. Like, if you just call him and you're like, hello, and you're like, wait, are you just waking up or you're just sleeping? I was like, dad, dad, did you know? I can detect from your voice. Yeah, you know, they are, ve they are very, very emotional. That is, they like internalizing things. They, start, they like thinking about, like, if there's a project to do, they will internalize it and think, okay, what is the pros? What are the cons? What are the risks? Yeah. The another thing is they are very professional they are very very hard to please yeah yeah they are even they, they, are, they will say you should move their floor their house floor for them like two or three times <laughs> that people that mop every day <laughs> technically <laughs> that even if you maybe you try to help them maybe in buying groceries and you want to stock it for them you can't do it for them like the very very hard to do things for people to do things for them like they say people to match up to a certain maybe percent or a stage before you can be accepted. Now you can relate this to your relationship. If maybe your partner is asking that why can't you just be this? Why can't you just be this? And there's no selfish in their own interest because they feel like oh you are not this yet enough, but you need to be this and this and this and this. The person might be a perfectionist. Yeah. Then and that thing is that I said they are faithful. They are faithful people. They don't really have much friends. But few that they have, they stick. In fact, God will bless you to have a very melancholy partner. Even if they are taking a big risk as a choleric, they will, they will still stay with you. And then their fourth strength is they are very, very self-sacrificing. Like in the sense that they can lay their life down. Anything that has to do with self-sacrificing things, they go, they go, they go for it. Now, let's go into their weaknesses. They are very self-centered. It says that they do what we call self-examination, self-contemplating. This can ruin them, especially with their sensitive nature. They tend to take in things too much. Yeah, they tend to take things into when they become self-centered. They only think about themselves. They might not be thinking about another person. That's why I said if you have a partner that only think about themselves, like very, very pessimistic. Like if you give, bring a project, the first thing a melancholy we see is the problem. Like, okay, we want to do this project. The first thing they would think about is what are the costs? What will it cost them? Maybe in terms of money, in terms of effort, <laughs> in terms of people. Yeah, that's why we say they are self sufficient. Yeah, or they are very, very. Uh, that, as in being, being self sufficient and pessimistic, make them very, very offend, offended very easily and be, make them very suspicious. <laughs> They have what, what I call moody fluctuation, or like the sanguines. They are very, very prone to depression and very, very moody. And to escape being moody, they, they dream sometimes. They live, they live in the future in their brain. They can think of the future and no amazing thing. Then they are very, very revengeful. 
they might seem cool but he's deep inside like they'll keep keeping it inside until one day that it'll just it'll just explode <laughs> yeah okay so what they need they need the gift of joy and peace because of the depression they need goodness to so evade self-centeredness they need faith because of their pessimistic nature and then joy to avoid being revengeful and forgive people so let's go to the last one which is phlegmatic phlegmatic is the cool easy going nature guy never really gets upset even though it has emotion underneath yeah yeah they avoid violence they are not really pushy pushy people you know when you're about to do a project they will not volunteer to be it might be in their mind that oh, and i really love to be the leader but they won't volunteer but if you really push them they'll be a capable leader they always they tend to be spectator in life they learn they love to be at the backstage you know pushing someone forward yeah that's what i said if you have a phlegmatic wife or phlegmatic husband their wife being choleric will be will be a bit overshadowing but they'll be the one doing most of the job behind it so what are the career they love basic two fields that is the education and engineering and anything that has to do with mechanics the yeah, entity that has to do with details and you no know, their career they are, they are these people that they achieve a lot and very very productive but they tend not to um how will i say they tend not to live up to expectation yes they tend not to live up to expectation because of their weaknesses and i'm going to be talking about it so what are their strengths they are very witty they have this sense dry of humor that make them escape maybe if you try to threaten them or you no know, they just want to escape being motivated or being the best yeah so they have this witty form of humor and also they are very dependable you can give your phlegmatic like, some work from some work to do go and sleep they will do it for you they are very analytical and practical to that expect and also they are very very efficient they are very practical well organized in need and people that can tell you oh check the drawer second drawer to the left you know all these kind of descriptions yeah and they very and they work well under pressure they think and plan ahead like they can think the whole thinking of this world all together surely if they have something ahead of them what are their weaknesses kind of one they are slow and lazy they drag feet Mm. before they can do something they have to be pushed to do it like a, 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 a flamboyant person can wake up to do something and immediately way he's already fed up he's already lazy and goes to sleep <laughs> and finally if you call to resume it back they will annoy you if you maybe if you threaten to motivate them they will tease you in a way that it will annoy you and another thing is they'll be teasing you and they'll still maintain a straight face you know the kind of people that you know that they are kind of threatening you or annoying you because you know you're trying to tell them to do this do this they don't like push in their life but they still need the push you know and another thing is they can be cruel with their emotions they they and they always wanted to feel loved by others but they don't like they don't know how to express emotions they can love you without you letting you know that they do yeah so th that gets me to be selfish and stubborn selfish with their emotions money they tend to be stingy at times and stubborn in terms of let's say they are quite re re rebels like they won't tell you they won't do something <laughs> they, they won't if you say do this they won't shut and tell you immediately that they won't do it but in their mind they won't do it it is kind of people that they are saying another thing they think another thing they will, they, in fact, they will be not, they will be like, oh, yeah. And what they will do is in their mind, and that's what they are going to do. So, you can, you can now think and see that, okay, maybe the reason why you are angry with your partner or your friend is because the person is this and this and this. So, also, they are very indec indecisive. Yeah. Because they always wait for the better time. Oh, this not the better time. Let's wait for the better time to do this. Oh, let's wait till maybe celebration time. So, they are always quite indecisive. So, what is um oh guys i forgot about the biblical character for the melancholy that is apostle john john the beloved we have moses and we have solomon now the bible character for phlegmatic is father abraham has many sons you get that <laughs> okay so these are the gifts they need. they need love at least to be motivated to help others because they really are they are capable but they they do the push so they need love they need faith to be able to dispel this fear of being appearing in public for being not at them, they love being a spectator. 
and also they need goodness for them to be able to understand that they can do all things through Christ that strengthens them. Then they need meekness to go easy, to go easy on themselves, and they need self control to be able to be able to finish your work and be productive. Like my special father, I will say, we say, if you have a project ahead of you, try to do it. Then kind of say, okay, if I finish this, thing, I will reward myself. Yeah. So I've come to the end of all the temperament blend. The sanguine, the choleric, the melancholy, and the phlegmatic. I discussed the previous two in the previous video. Go watch it. And this is the rest of it. So I want us to kind of examine yourself. Try to um I will kind of give a link to uh, a temperament test to get to know who you are in the description box below so that you can go through the test, get to know yourself. Now come back to watch this video, know your strengths, know your weaknesses. And know the gift of the spirit that you need and start praying them into your life and that friend and also you need to know in fact you need to know the temperament to be able to know who your friend is because your friend may be totally opposite to you in fact your spouse they may obviously they will be totally opposite to you because opposite attracts actually so you need, you need to know this to be able to lay well with people to be able to know purpose to be to be able to be safe you know to have a good relationship with people and with God because our temperament you know, can affect our relationship with God. So by this I come to the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the 12 blends of temperament. Guys, <laughs> I'm I'm trusting God for that video. But I hope it will be in part because we have 12 blends and I really want to go in through them. And I've said this before, please. This video is a drive of a book titled Self control temperament and the second book why you act the way you do both by Tim Lai. so guys you can get the book it's free actually on the internet you can get the book download it read it true and true and true and true and you know get to know who you are and more and more and more so i'll see you guys in the next video have a fun field weekend much love